What is going on guys? Today I've got a follow-up video to do on the Lightroom 8.4 performance update. And the biggest question I got, well, not even a question, but the biggest comment was that in Lightroom 8.4, if you go into settings and you go to the performance tab, you have three options on GPU performance now. It is auto, custom, and off. So in auto, Lightroom is gonna pick how it uses the GPU, I don't know what that means exactly. In custom, you can select the GPU. Again, I don't know what the difference is between that and auto. So right now I'm running two GTX 1070s in SLI. Lightroom does not use SLI. It does not use multiple graphics cards. So if you have four in SLI, it does not use them. NVIDIA is also kind of getting away from SLI. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna geek out on this video too much. If you guys have questions and comments about my system, I built it, it's fully custom. It rocks in Lightroom and Premiere and things like that. Lightroom does not use SLI. So in custom, it just shows my single GTX 1070. The main thing that you guys asked was, is it using the GPU because if you go into task manager, and I'm gonna be talking Windows. You Mac guys, I'll get to you guys in a few minutes. I know it's also relevant to you guys, and it's somewhat more relevant to Mac than PCs, but I'll get to that in a few minutes. The main thing that you guys asked was, hey, you need to go into task manager and you need to look at the performance of the GPUs actually being used. Is it using the RAM? Is it using the processor? So today I'm gonna to kind of dive into that a little bit. The tough thing on this update is you can't, I don't think that it's impacting things like one-to-one -one preview time and import time and export time. The last test, you could actually see that the export time I think was less on the new thing. And that's, it, that's kind of irrelevant. And I'm gonna say again, I don't mind background tasks, worry about export times. I used to like back in the day, uh, dude, when I started, I was editing on an 11 inch netbook. That was extremely relevant. I think it took about 25 seconds to load image to image and develop. So anyways, that's been taken care of now. I can export a wedding of a thousand images in probably less than 30 minutes. So I'll get up and da, ah, get up. I need to get my coffee. I have an empty coaster. Smokes. Okay. Um, where was I? Now, the main thing that this performance update is talking about is performance in the library module, which is super impactful because that affects calling time, which is my kind of most hated task. Uh, yeah, it is my most hated task is calling. So if you can call faster in Lightroom, which I don't use anyways, I use Photo Mechanic, which is bloody amazing. But I know a lot of you do call in Lightroom. So the main aspect of this performance update is it's supposed to enhance the speed of the library module. It's also looking like it's in the speed of the develop module, image to image. And the biggest thing that I'm seeing is that it definitely affects tools, brushes, gradient filters, all of that is being changed. So the main thing is it's difficult to test on a quantitative, quantitative, I think, yeah, quant yeah, qualitative, quant quantitative analysis on what this new GPU update is doing because it's easy to do like an import task and an export task and just time that and look at the results. That's a simple thing. The main thing with this update is it's a little bit more, I guess, qualitative. Is that, I don't even know. I think that it is because the main thing that this is impacting is tools and we all use tools. We all use the clone stamp. We all use graduated filters, like the brush tools. Like I use the brush a lot to take down exposure. I know that a lot of you guys use brushes. So that is the biggest thing that this update is impacting. So all that being said, the main way that I'm gonna test this is I'm gonna build a giant pano with um, GFX 50S file. I'm gonna shoot it uncompressed raw. I'm gonna shoot something lame out in my yard. I'm gonna put that into a pano and I'm gonna time the pano. And I'm also gonna look at brush tools. So I'll show you that in a few minutes. But first, let's talk about what I got the RTX 2080. And this is an Asus card, which I, um, yeah, this thing is, Gigantic. Almost all of my stuff is Asus because I've used them for many, many years. They seem the most reliable options. They have some of the highest performance. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that stuff. So this is the RTX 2080. It does a lot of cool stuff. It's mainly a gaming card. But the point of all of this is, will the GPU enhance Lightroom performance on a daily basis? If you edit 1,000, 2,000 images all at once, is that gonna speed up the performance on a one, on an image to image basis? 
And that's what we all deal with. That's what we've been talking about for years with Lightroom is it's been buggy and then they do an update and it's buggy and they do an update and it's buggy and it's impacting it in a way that actually changes the amount of time that we have to sit at a computer. So that's what I'm gonna be looking at, performance in Lightroom and seeing what it does and if it's impactful and if it's a value to go out and get a good GPU. To you Apple guys, I know a lot of you guys use Apple. I have always been a PC guy. I've always built my own computers. I've done it since I was a little kid actually. Maybe sometimes to the demise of my parents' computers when I was a little kid. But I've been building PCs since I was a kid in high school. I've always loved it. So for me, I've always known that I can build a much higher performing PC for the money than an Apple product. I know the Apple. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that. For you Apple guys, what does this mean to you? Well, a lot of you guys edit on a MacBook, let's say, and the GPU in that MacBook is a lower end card. And so where this can impact you guys is, heck, Go get a card like this, throw it in an external enclosure, like the Razer, I don't even know what it's called, the Razer enclosure, then you can put something like an RTX 2080, 2080 Ti, 2060, 2070, card like that in, a, in an enclosure running Thunderbolt into a MacBook so that when you sit at a desk and you edit, you can plug in that GPU and you can get a massive performance upgrade. If it doesn't do anything, then you can say, well, I don't even need to go do that. I can use what I have built into the MacBook. But if this does make a big performance enhancement, then it may be the time that you can go out and go actually get a good GPU and see the impact of what that's gonna do in Lightroom. Okay, let's head to my desk. I'm gonna run a few tests with a pan out and then I will pull the PC out. I'm gonna put this card in and then we'll run the same test. I'll give you my final analysis. If this is a giant waste of time, then ah, sad day. Hopefully save you some bucks. It is a huge enhancement. I'm gonna let you guys know. Maybe uh, cost you a few bucks. So let's get to it. Okay guys, I'm back and the RTX 2080 is installed. First thing I'm gonna do again, discard previews. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna disable the GPU. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to close this up and I'm gonna delete the preview folder again. Open it back up. Okay, so just to verify, okay, GPU is off. I'm going to make these into a pano and time is jamming. Okay, so that took 50 seconds um, before it took 52, so not a big change. And let's now click merge and time. Let's have a look at the monitor and you can see nothing's being used in RAM. And I think the only thing that's being used by the actual processor is my screen recorder. Okay, the pano is done. Let's zoom in and see what it looks like and see how it responds with GPU disabled. I know, I know, this is super exciting looking at a baby orange. Again, we don't see any um, GPU usage. Let's give a brush a shot. Yeah, pretty laggy. And a gradient, same thing. Pretty laggy. Not unusable, but laggy. And again, nothing is being used. Okay, I'm gonna close this out, delete this file. Now I'm going to re-enable the GPU. I'm gonna put custom and use GPU. Okay, good and okay. And now we can close, go back in, kill off the previews. Okay, so we can see straight away that RAM is now being used on the GPU. And that's the big thing that we wanna see. We can see it in the task manager. We can also see the GPU in use. And now let's give it a go on the pano again. Okay, here we go. Select all, merge, pano, clock, go. Let's go ahead and merge. Okay, the pano is done again. And let's just take a look at it. See how it runs. Looking good so far. Let's pull in a gradient. It just jams, jams and jams. Now I'm gonna do this for a second and then we'll go back and look at the monitor. There you go, see that, see that peak? 
that's what I was just doing just then. And a lot of you talked about still not seeing any GPU clock usage from the actual processor. So that's what that is. It was just being used and you can see almost eight gigs of RAM being used on the GPU as well. So I'm gonna delete and pull in a brush. And good. You can see again, a little bit of peak there. Okay guys, this video is getting way too long, so I'm gonna head back to the table and give just a few final thoughts on this whole issue. Okay guys, this video is getting way too long, so I need to wrap it up. Just finalize some thoughts on, is a high-end GPU good for Lightroom, especially Lightroom 8.4 and beyond? Going forward from now, is a high-end GPU going to benefit you in your everyday editing process? The answer definitively is yes, it will. This new update is finally something from that is giving us a big performance boost. We have not seen this in the past. The GPU has not been used in the past. Finally it is. And that is huge for us because this is a humongously powerful piece of equipment. GPUs are now being used for super advanced AI, super advanced computing in huge, huge data centers. GPUs are the main source of power, even mining and things like that. So hugely powerful. The Lightroom in the past has always just been uh, CPU bound. And again, this is a huge upgrade. Now, did I have a big change from two 1070s to one RTX 2080? I'm not seeing a huge difference, but I know that I will see an impact in Premiere. Other things that will use the GPU, so I'm okay with that. Also, the two 1070s consumed a ton of electricity, like a lot. So I'm okay to have one, and also knowing that Lightroom only can use one GPU anyways, and it doesn't use SLI, and NVIDIA is getting away from SLI, kind of, and a lot of developers have kind of given up a little bit of support on SLI as well. So I would much rather have one high-end card than two less in SLI. Same thing as if to have a bunch of money to blow. If you wanted to go out and get two 2080s, then it's not gonna make an impact in things like Lightroom because Lightroom will not use that second GPU. Okay, and you Mac guys, the verdict is if you edit on something like a MacBook, even a MacBook Air, any of those, I don't have any tests on this, but I know that the GPU on most of those is quite lower than anything like this. So if you do want to give this a shot, I would say go out and get a, a Razer, I think it's Core, I think it's called. I'll put a link in uh, the description. But I would, if I was editing on a laptop, I would for sure go out and buy a GPU and enclosure, get something like a 2070 or a 2080. If you have some money to blow, a 2080 Ti. The big difference between the 2080 and the 2080 Ti is gigs of RAM, I think. And what we just saw in those tests is that Lightroom was very much using the memory on the GPU. It was also using the actual GPU itself, the processor, to do some tasks when we use brushes. And you will see a little benefit from something like a 2080 Ti, but the main thing that you will see also is that it has an additional four gigs of RAM. So it could be cool. I don't have one. They cost a little bit more, maybe three, four hundred dollars. And I just went with the 2080. So that's about it, you guys. Without making this video like insanely long, I think that the verdict is in. The GPU is definitely going to help you in your Lightroom editing process. Yeah, I would love to hear some comments of you guys that have maybe even 2080 Ti's, maybe high-end systems beyond mine. If you wanna know any of my specs, let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, hit like. If you think it's too long, uh, I'll try better next time. All right, talk to you guys next time.